Hey girlfriends, it's me, Destiny Moshe. Welcome back to my channel. So today is supposed to be Vlogmas Day 8 and 9. And I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So today we will be learning how to make a wig with a closure using the dollhouse hair. So if you want to learn, then just keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe either. But before we go any further, I want to thank Toya B and the Dollhouse Hair Collection for sponsoring this video. So I originally wanted to do a talk to video, but you know, neighbors or whatever. But as you can see, look how silky this bundle is. Like I love silky texture hair. Um, but I would sit three bundles in the inches 18, 20, then 22 inch bundles. And a 4x4 four 18 four inch lace closure. So this is what the hair comes in, a pretty pink box with tissue paper in it. And mine's all wonky because USPS don't care how they deliver your stuff. Things you would need to make this wig are a mannequin head, and I have a styrofoam mannequin head with plastic bags taped around it because I used to have long thick hair. So even though I'm bald head, my hair is going back now and it will still fit once it's back. Sheer scissors, a mesh dome style wig cap, hair bonding glue, and I am using the Salon Pro 30 second bonding glue, and some T pins, but in this case, thumbtacks because I don't have any, and these are the next best thing. Next, take the wig cap and secure it to the mannequin head and you can just eyeball and make adjustments to the way that you want the wig cap to fit onto the mannequin head. Okay, so take the closure out of the bag and like I said before, this is a 4x4 four four lace closure. It does come with baby hairs, but it is not pre-plucked, so if you're into plucking, you will have to do that yourself. And this hair, this closure is super soft. Like I just cannot stop touching it. It's so soft. I don't like the smell, but you know, I'll get to that later. Now you want to adjust the lace a little bit above the um the cap. And then you want to stick a pin there right in the center to keep it positioned. And then you want to get another tack and put it supposedly in the middle first, but I put it on the sides. It's a preference thing, but it's best to do it in the middle first and then place it on the sides. Um, and then after that, you want to also tack down the sides in the front as well. This way you have a um, idea of where to start gluing the, the lace down. As you can see, the sides are nice and flat, and that's what you were looking for. Now brush the closure into a ponytail and put it out of the way. Start with the back pins only, take those out, and along those thick edges of the lace closure, you want to start gluing that part down first and put like a nice amount of glue on that so that it stays and then once you start gluing that down you want to put it on the cap and tack it back down so that it adheres to the mesh undo one side of your closure only and begin putting glue on the thick side of the lace. Once you have all your glue applied, make sure that you are stretching the closure and pulling it out as well so that your closure lays flat onto the wig cap. And then don't forget to tack it back down. And it 
it should come out something like this. This stuff is optional, however, it's a preference for me. So I'm just going to grab my 18 inch bundle and I'm going to unravel it and I'm just going to measure it around the closure. Once I get my desired length, I'm just going to cut the track. So this stuff is just basically going to repeat itself over and over again. All you're going to do is do the track, put it on the head, tack it down. Do the track, put it on the head, tack it down. The reason why I do this step first is because I want the closure completely covered just in case I don't have enough hair. However, with three bundles, you're gonna have more than enough hair. That's why I said that this is a preference and you can actually do this step last. I'm not professional and this is literally my first time making a closure wig. So I felt like I'll show this for beginners because I've tried to search on YouTube how to make a closure wig 100% glue method and literally every video was the first step is sewing and I'll be like how is this 100% glue method if I still gotta sew don't nobody got time to be sewing and don't know all of us know how to sew like that's so annoying. Like, if it's going to be a 100% glue method, I need it to be a 100% glue method. So, while I hear y'all go, everybody's looking for something that's all glue. <laughs> now it's time for the actual construction of the wig. So, I'm taking my 22 inch bundle and I'm going to easily measure from side to side. It doesn't matter that I'm putting on the stretchy part of the wig cap because once you cut off the lace at the very end, then it'll stretch. This would be so much easier if I had an actual wig stand. So I'm going to do this stuff a few times and then I'll be back to show you guys what it's supposed to look like after you have a few tracks laid down. Here is a few tracks done. And this is what it will look like once you are done with the whole 22 inch bundle. Now you're going to start right about here with the 20 inch bundle and I am laying my tracks about a thumb length apart but you're going to do this until you get all the way to the top. Let's go. I am now going in with the 20 inch bundles and I'm going to do the same steps that I did with the other bundle and that's just glue and lay down the track. that I made so at this point I started making small tracks going across the head where I could have made at least two longer tracks to go around the head and I also didn't um, space it like I was spacing the other track so once I finished the wig it was a little bulky which made me have to take out some of these small tracks 
Um, but in the end, it all came out pretty good, and I was very satisfied with it. But that's just something to note that you can at least go around two more times with the longer tracks just before you start going across the head with the smaller tracks. <laughs> track looks like after it has been glued down and then this is what the wig looks like after all the 20 inch tracks have been laid down and as you can already see it's bulky but we're gonna fix that so all I did off camera was finish off the wig using the 18 inch bundles and I didn't show it because the steps are once again repetitive so right now I'm just taking the tacks out of the hair while I laid the tracks down so that you guys can see what it looks like prior to me combing it out. So brushing the wig out you can clearly see where the um the closure meets the tracks and as you can see there is a huge hump so that's where the customization comes in on your part based on how you want it but at this point I still have uh, the lace still on there and I hadn't plucked it yet. So if you take a look closely at the back of the wig, you can see where I was talking about it looked bulky and that's why I took those extra tracks out at. So this part is pretty simple and pretty much self-explanatory, but all you're doing is cutting the wig cap off between where you glued the, um, the lace down on the wig cap. So this is what the wig is looking like so far. All I did at the moment was did a little plucking, created my baby hairs, and I hadn't cut off the lace yet, but this wig so far is very snug, and in just a few moments, you will see the end results. Welcome to the end of the video. <laughs> so, I just want to tell you a few things. So, for one, I have few complaints about the hair. Nothing, um big first off is that the bundles didn't have a smell but the closure did it smelled like um I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. a baby doll you know when you get a brand new baby doll the hair has that weird smell that's what the closure had but you know after you wash it and stuff like that it goes away and the second thing I have to say is that the bundles themselves did not come in any kind of protective gear. So like it didn't have a hairnet on it and it also didn't come in like a silk bag or a, a package, the plastic package that the hair normally comes in. It didn't come in that. So um, I felt like because it didn't, that it had a little bit more flyaways than it would have had if it came in those uh if it came in the protective uh gear. Um, but other than that, I am in love with this hair, and I'm not just saying it because this is a sponsored video. I have been getting my little Kim on for the longest. Like, look. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm dead serious. Like, I am loving this hair, you guys. You have to check out the dollhouse hair. I mean, you have to. It's just, oh, it's just so soft and silky. I also want to talk about the closure again. Now, I've had some hair before, but this closure is so soft. Like, when I got it out the pack, I knew, I felt it was soft. 
But you know, after you wash it and stuff like that, you think the softness will go away. But this hair, this closure is so soft. I am in love with the closure. The bundles, I mean, give it to me inches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I am loving this hair. But, you know, I ain't gonna talk to you too long. So, if I taught you something new today about how to make a wig with a closure, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, before you leave, be sure to go to the description box. Not only will I have the deets on this hair, I will also have the link to the Dollhouse Collection website so that you guys can take advantage of the closure, the deal sale, where you can get three bundles of 22 inch hair and also a 12 inch closure. So look, if you haven't subscribed already, I mean, I don't know why, because I'm hooking you up, I'm hooking you up with sales. I'm hooking you up on how to make you a new wig. So I mean, we here. We should be here. So make sure you just subscribe and join the Slay Nation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, yeah. So make sure to also follow me on social media. I will have those linked down below. And also follow the dollhouse hair on social media. I will have her name somewhere on the screen and also in the description box down below and um that's probably going to be the end of this video <laughs> so um i'll see you guys in my next one so until then peace